Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions. And in this video, I'm going to be comparing three of Ubiquiti Unified's bullet cameras. We're going to do the G5 Bullet, the G5 Pro and the AI Pro. We're going to look at the specs, what they look like, then we're going to go into the image difference. So we're going to look at daytime imagery, nighttime imagery, how they focus on things like number plates, people, how clear everything is, some of the features like optical zoom on the more expensive cameras. And then we're going to do things like uh, detections. So number plate detections, audio detections, the whole lot to see what these cameras are capable of. There is a difference between them. And at the end, I'm going to give my final thoughts on which one might be right for you. But hopefully you'll get an idea throughout this video. So let's get on with the specs. Okay, so I'm on the Unify store. I'm under camera and security. I've gone to bullet and we are in standard. So the G4 comes up first, which is interesting because it's an older camera. But we'll go down to the G5 bullet because this is the one that we've got. Okay, so the big selling point here is the price. £123.60 plus VAT. That is pretty cheap for a Unify camera. Um, and it is a 2K 4 megapixel camera. So it's a pretty good image quality actually. It's got nine meters IR and it's got AI detections and that is people, animals and vehicles. It's also got some audio detections which may or may not work. Um, you can record audio because it's got an integrated microphone and it's powered by PoE. So I've got this plugged into my Dream Machine SE. These are, all these cameras are weatherproof and uh, can be used outdoors. Okay, so let's go up to the high performance. And again, the older G4 Pro comes up first, but we're interested in the G5 Pro. So this one is considerably more expensive, £363.60, including that. Um, it's got a 8 megapixel um, camera, so it's very, very clear image on that. A 3 times optical zoom and a 25 meter IR rather than 9 meters. The same AI detections as the G5 uh, Bullet. And again, it can record audio with a microphone powered by PoE and it's uh, outdoor uh, use as well. And now actually in the video later, I say that you can get this in black and white, but I was incorrect. This actually only comes in white, which is a bit of a shame really. It's a shame you can't get this in black. Um, they seem to have just saved that for their AI cameras. Okay, so let's go up to the enhanced AI, which is where we find the AI Pro. Now this camera is an eye-watering 478 pounds and 80, including that. Now what I would say is the features that this camera's got, it's actually not that expensive. If you compare that to other brands with these kind of features, they are more expensive than this in the most part. You might get something uh, of some of the cheap brands. I don't think Rio Link do a, a number plate recognition, but Certainly Hick Vision and stuff like that, their, their cameras are going to be more expensive than this with these kind of features. So it is, again, 8 megapixel. It's got 3 times optical zoom, so very similar in terms of uh, features to the uh, G5 Pro. But this is the bit where it really differs. So it's got the advanced AI. So it can detect people, read license plates, and I think it's got facial recognition as well, which we'll be looking at in a minute. It's got 25 meter IR, same as the G5 Pro. <clears throat> and it's got a far field microphone, which that actually is different to the G5 Pro. So the microphone's supposed to be able to hear from further away, which again, I think we'll test. PoE powered and outdoor. Now, the nice thing about this camera is I've actually got the white one. So this comes from white and black. So it's got some more flexibility, but you probably expect that for nearly 500 pounds. Okay, so that's the specs. Let's get on to looking at the cameras themselves. Okay, so here we have the three cameras. I've had to pop them on a towel because they kept trying to roll away from me. So I've got the G5 Bullet, the G5 Pro, and then the AI Pro. Um, you can see straight away there's quite a difference in the size. The G5 Bullet is quite a small camera generally, even in comparison to other brands. The AI Pro is actually, although it's much bigger than the G5 Bullet, it's actually still quite a small camera uh, for a bullet camera. So all beautifully designed. You can really tell Ubiquiti cameras from, uh, from miles away, really. You can spot them. They do stand out from other brands. So let's look at the cameras individually. So we'll start with the G5 Bullet. So the G5 Bullet is a very plasticky feeling camera so it's kind of feels like it's it feels like it's a nice quality camera but if you compare it to these two in a minute 
that it doesn't feel like nearly as high quality because there's lots of plastic on it. It's plastic, plastic, plastic. It's all plastic. And if you think about the G4 Bullet, that is more expensive, but that has metal casing. So this one, what they've essentially done is obviously save some money on the materials and able to bring out that camera in the sort of just over hundred pound uh, price range. So that's really, uh, really where they've saved their money. It's a very nice looking camera. It's slightly different to the others in the fact that it's got a white uh, sun visor there. <laughs> My only reservation about this camera is the fact that it is plastic and I think in the long term this plastic will probably discolour. And I'm basing that on the fact that I've seen numerous uh, Unify access points, old ones, that are discoloured. So I think the sun is going to do some damage to this, color, to this camera. Now I'm judging that without having actually seen it because this camera is not, uh, not old enough to actually have seen some damage on it but I think that might be the case. And that would be one of my reservations about this camera. Although I do really like it and we do install quite a lot of these. I'm still sort of a bit cautious about that plasticky feel. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Uh, so the G5 Pro. So the G5 Pro straight away feels like a much more quality camera. It's very heavy. Um, it's got, um, uh, everything's metal on it so metal 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 and it just feels like it's a it's a nice you know high quality camera it's got the black on the outside rather than the white um, this one you can also add the vision enhancer to as well that does make it quite chunky but um, yeah it's a really really nice camera um, very similar obviously in design overall between all three of these um, but they're subtle differences. So let's go to AI Pro next. Now this one is really heavy in comparison. If you compare these two together, this is really feeling quite weighty. And again, it's all metal everywhere. We've got some like additional bits and pieces, like some additional screws. We've got, I think this is a microphone back here. There's a microphone just under this bit here. Um, again, you know, high quality, all metal, black uh, outer rim here. It's generally just a very nice camera, this actually. Um, just in terms of colors, oh, they're rolling away from me again. Um, just in terms of colors, the G5 Bullet only comes in white, which is a bit of a frustration actually. Some people will do want these in black and they don't do any covers for them or anything like that. So it's a bit annoying that there isn't a black in this one. The G5 Pro and the uh, AI Pro both come in black and white, which is great because not everyone wants a white camera, especially if you've got quite a dark house. Okay, so let's get on to the next stage. Okay, so just to show you, this is how I've got the camera set up. I'm about to pop them outside and then we'll take a look at how the imagery is during the day and then we'll do the nighttime stuff. Okay, so here we've got three cameras. Um, the first thing you'll probably notice is the viewing angle on the G5 Bullet. You can see the names of the cameras in the top left hand corner. But the G5 Bullet has got a slightly tighter angle on it. So this is getting the AI Pro and the G5 Pro have got a wider angle on them. So they're seeing more than the G5 Bullet is despite the fact that they're in exactly the same position. But if you look at the kind of image quality as we are here, there's not really a noticeable difference between the what the cameras are seeing in the foreground. And even in the background, it's kind of a similar kind of blurriness in that background. But what I'm gonna show you is a couple of bits that makes the G5 Pro and the AI Pro a better camera. So if we just go to the G5 Bullet, first of all, so we've got some options up here. We can take a snapshot, we can change some image tuning, we can unmute the sound. We've got a zoom here, and this is a digital zoom. Um, but to be honest, because we've got a four megapixel camera, it's not great in terms of what it actually does, that zoom. It hasn't really got enough pixels to work with. So the card back here that I've put there, you can't read the number plate. It's That's about 50 meters away, and there's no way that you're gonna be able to read that number plate. So. The G5 uh, bullet is really good for this kind of foreground. You're gonna get nice clear imagery on that. I can read the number plate on the fan nice and easily. Uh, and it's really clear here. But as soon as we start to get a bit further away, you just haven't got that great viewing. So it's not really gonna pick up anything that's too far away from it. It's really gonna be to cover the immediate uh, area in front of it. Okay, so now I'll go to the other cameras. So, if I go to the G5 Pro first, the G5 Pro and the AI Pro are pretty similar in the way they work. So the first thing you notice is we've got an additional bit here. So we've got an adjust focus. So we can click on this and basically we can focus on something. So we can get the camera to focus on the area we want it to focus on and it's gonna bring more detail to that area. Now that's not immediately apparent that that's gonna make a huge difference uh, as we have it at the moment. But if I just sort of say done on that, um, 
Now we've also got the digital zoom up here, but down the bottom here, you'll notice the other zoom. Now this is the optical zoom, and this is where the camera earns its money. So if I click on this, and what I want to do is try and bring up this number plate on the car. As I said, it's about 50 meters away. We've got another car down here that's probably about 60 meters away. Um, so if I click on this, and I'm gonna bring the zoom in right down to three times optical zoom. Okay, now I can read that number plate pretty clearly now. But what I can also do is if I adjust my focus, I'm gonna focus on that number plate. And then I've so done on that, and then I can zoom in on the digital zoom as well. And I get a really, really clear picture of that number plate. That is a quite a distance away, and the camera is having no problem reading that. In fact, if I change my adjustment focus, I can't actually show you this uh, number plate, but if I change that and I zoom in, I can also just about read that number plate as well. Not quite, I can make out most of the letters on that number plate, but that is about 60 meters away, so that's pretty impressive. So let's see how the AI Pro does. Okay, so if we go to the AI Pro now, and we do exactly the same thing, so we're gonna zoom it into three times. And that'll change the focus of the uh, image. The first thing it's done is it's picked up the car and it's read the number plate. So it's got that. Now if I zoom in, and I'll just change that focus as well. So if I change the image focus on that, we should get a better picture of that number plate. Okay, I'll say done on that. I can read that number plate very, very clearly. Now interestingly, although they're supposed to be similar, if I change the focus on this number plate, so done, pull it in even more. Oop. I can, actually that's blurred it a little bit when I zoomed it. I can just about read that. Actually, it's, the put, changing the focus has actually messed it up. I could read it a bit better when it was focused over here. So if I put that there, I can now read that number plate almost entirely. The leaf here is blocking it a little bit, but I can read certainly those last three letters of the number plate. Uh, so that is a slight difference. I would say that that's a slightly better image than the uh, G5 Pro. But this is where these cameras are earning their money. So that is the real difference between these cameras in terms of uh, what they're capable of at distance. So I've come out and I've gone to my recordings. I'm gonna bring this into full screen and I'm just gonna pause this for a second. Now what you'll notice is it doesn't matter what the camera's capable of um, in its live view, unless you've put that camera into that mode in uh, live view, then you can't do anything with the recording. So we've only got the digital zoom on this. So we don't, if we wanted to read that number plate and we haven't used the optical zoom when the camera's in live mode, we can't then use the optical zoom to zoom into the recording because it physically changes the camera's uh, lens so that it's able to view into that area. So it's not something you can do retrospectively. You have to have done that focus on the camera. So I suppose if, for example, you had like, uh, say this was a driveway and you had a gate down here and you wanted to make sure the camera was able to focus on anything coming through that driveway, then you could set the camera to that distance and then leave it like that. And that would essentially allow you to get a really good view down that driveway. But you can't sort of use it to cover the foreground and cover the rear with the same image quality. So what I would probably do in that scenario is I would have something like the G5 Pro or the AI Pro to get this shot down here, and then you could have a G5 Bullet, the cheaper camera, to cover the foreground, because you don't really need it to be zooming out down to that end down there. So that's where these cameras might come in really useful. Okay, so we've seen how the uh, three times optical zoom works with a number plate. Let's see how it's gonna work with a my face. So I'm gonna go and stand by the car and then I'll walk towards um, the house and we'll see what kind of focus we get on that face and when it identifies me as a person. Okay, so here we've got the AI Pro. We've got it on the three times optical zoom. I'm gonna see what difference it made. Now the shade is not helping. You can't really see my face there. But as I get a little bit closer, you can definitely pick up those features and it's pretty clear from here. That's probably 20 meters maybe. And now it's very clear. So you've got a very good shot on my face. And as I get closer, you're still getting that really good detail on my face.
Okay, so here's the G5 Pro, and it's pretty similar. You can see it's a bit dark under those trees there, but as I get closer, you are starting to pick that detail up on the face, and that's that's pretty good. That's about 25, 20 meters, and we're getting uh, to the AI Pro. Okay, so now we're on the G5 Bullet. Now, G5 Bullet, I'm completely blurred out down there. Um, you can't really see the face again. I've got to that 20 meter mark where the G5 Pro was not struggling too much and you can see quite good imagery in my face what i'm gonna do is just pause it there i'll pull in the zoom but it's not making any difference i'm still pretty blurry there so let's see where we get to where the face becomes clear okay it's still not great still not great so we're pretty close to the camera now if i pause that again I'll try and pull that in on the still not a great image at that range so you've got to pull it out let's try it again see where it becomes clear okay i would say about now we're getting a pretty good image so we're pretty close to the camera now my face is pretty clear um but it's not anywhere near as crisp as the other two cameras were in that respect it's not picking it up in the same way that the other cameras were which is a little bit of a shame so here I've got the person detection event from the AI Pro. So I just want to see when it picks me out as a person at what distance it's going to pick me out. So I'll press play on this. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that is probably between 20 to 25 meters away, I would say. And it's spotted me. But I have got that three times optical zoom on. So um, it's, it's definitely helping the camera. I'm not sure it would spot me if I didn't have that zoom on. But that's quite a distance. It's picked me out as a person and then it's created that event. So that's uh, that's really good to see that it can do that at that distance. As we saw, the G5 bullet couldn't really even see me at this distance. I was a person, but I wasn't really identifiable uh, from my facial features or anything like that. Whereas on this camera, if I pull that in, we are getting a little bit of detail on the face. It's not perfect, but we're getting a little bit of detail. Okay, so I pulled up a bit of un planned event imagery so um i measured to the end here this is about 60 meters to the end of the road here so this person is cycling past on their bike and the camera picked up that as an event so it's picked out that person there you go bike so that's pretty impressive at that range it's spotted that as a bike and it's given me it as an event so it says there's a person there we've got a bike um, and that's pretty good so i didn't plan that bit but it's uh it's good that it spotted it from that range and again we've got another one here someone walking past and it's picked up that person walking past at 60 meters okay, so the next thing i want to show you is i've gone to the side here and i've gone to recognition tab and the ai pro has picked me out it's got a very clear image of my face there i've got the option to add a name here so i'm going to add my name uh in fact it's put my full name in there so i'll just put in hugh and i'm going to tick person of interest and it says you'll be notified once this person has been detected by the camera so if i press save on that let's take a look at that event oh it's got me twice 31 minutes that's not quite so clear that one but it's picked me out here if i just make that into full screen there we go spotted my face let's just pull that back do that again let's see what distance oh okay let's see what distance it got me with my face there we go okay so I'm, I'm struggling with these distance they're probably about 15 to 20 meters okay the other thing i just want to quickly show you is my cat size so getting on the action and you can see that the camera has identified that as an animal the ai pro has picked it out as an animal okay so here we've got the three cameras um the names of the cameras are in the top left hand corner so you know which one's which um the first thing to notice i think is that the g5 bullet has got a much tighter viewing angle than the other two we're not really seeing the full front of that car here like we are on the others in terms of the image quality actually they're all pretty good certainly in the foreground um, the G5 bullet is noticeably darker in the background here. The IR is not getting out there as much as it is on the other cameras. Although there's not a significant difference between that and the G5 Pro. The AI Pro does seem to be a lot brighter than both of the other two. Which I'm quite surprised there's such a difference between these two. Because the IR should be pretty similar. Um, I'm going to go out there in a moment and we're going to see what it looks like when it focuses, when they focus on me. Um, I'm also going to move this vehicle and we're going to look at some of the detections and see how easily we can uh, pick up things like number plates 
uh, and other bits and pieces. So I'll go out there now and we'll take a look. Okay, so I've walked all the way to the end of the road, which is about 60 meters away. And you can see that I'm approaching now. You can just make me out. And I want to see when we're going to get a clear image from any of these cameras. There's not much light out there. We've got street light, but there's not much else. So we can see just about now we're starting to get there's a bit of lag actually on this on this recording because we're doing it all at once okay if i pause that there okay so we're getting a bit of ghosting it's a bit bright on the face there it's not overly clear actually that image of me um on all of these cameras and it took them a little while for that detail to be uh clear Okay, so I've reversed to the end of the road and now I'm approaching again. And what I want to do is try and capture that moment that we can see the number plate. We still can't see it now. Okay, so now, so the car and this G5 bullet, which is slightly ahead of the other two, is that is now visible. You can read that number plate. Go continue it. Um, yeah, and so it's a similar similar range to the others. So it's pretty close before we can read it. The headlights are glaring the camera pretty well. Um, so you can't really read it until it gets pretty close. But it'll be interesting to see on the detections as well if the AI Pro has managed to read that number plate. Okay, so this is a detection on the AI Pro of the number plate. So I want to, I'm interested to see at what stage it manages to pick that number plate out. So let's go ahead and play this. Okay, so it's picked it up actually before it seems visible to the camera itself, which is pretty impressive actually. It's managed to read that before I could actually see what the number plate was doing. Let's just take one more look at that. Uh, let's see if we can go back. So as you can see, we press play on that. It's picked it now. And I can't read that number plate at all. There's no way you'd be able to read that even if I think we zoom in there is no way that you're going to be able to read that so that's that's really impressive and i suppose that is an extra selling point for uh the ai because even though you might not be able to see it the camera knows what the number plate is and it's picked it up so i'm i'm pretty impressed with that actually okay so this is the ai pro with the three times optical zoom on at night so we can see straight away <clears throat> that the car number plates are pretty clear. So actually I can read, just about read this one here. The car here that I've parked is really clear. That is, I can actually read that number plate with no problem whatsoever. I can't really see any detail myself. I'm stood at the end of the road here and I'm about to walk towards you and we'll see what kind of uh, features we get and how clear that imagery is as I approach. Okay, so as I approach the house, we'll just see how clear it is. I'm going to stop when I get to the edge of the car there, because that number plate's really clear. I'll see if I can pause it and see if I zoom in what kind of image I get. Okay, so that is a really bad image. I really can't see myself at all there. Despite the fact that I can read this number plate nice and clearly, I can read this number plate nice and clearly, I've got nothing on my face here at all. Uh, there is a street light directly above me there, so let's see how this goes. I've still got it on the zoom, but there's not really much to be seen on the image. No detail at all really on the face. Pause that there. I'm going to bring it back out to Okay, so I've brought that back out to the 100% and we will start the camera again and see when we start. Okay, so now we can start to see a little bit more detail. There's still quite a lot of ghosting on the face. Not really any clear distinguishable features. Just getting a little bit more there, but not a lot. So actually, from a facial side, I'm not overly impressed with how the camera's performed there. But it has seen that number plate nice and clearly. Let's look at the G5 Pro. Okay, so we're on the G5 Pro now. I've paused the video. I can see there's a cat here. I can 
not really read that number plate. I can just about read it because I know what the letters are in that number plate. I can see some of this number plate, but I couldn't really distinguish it. It's definitely not as clear as it was in the AI Pro. There's no detail at all on my face there. So let's see how it does. I'll just pull this zoom out as well. You can see my cat there walk in front of me, give it a little stroke. But still no real detail on my face. We're getting very close now and we're just getting some fairly clear imagery on the face but it's not that clear we still not get anything like the detail we get in the daytime okay so i'm going through my detections here and i've pulled up the g5 pro detection and you can see that number plate is actually quite clear if i take that back play that again as the car approaches the camera we are getting a pretty clear image here of the number plate i can now read that number plate that's pretty clear so we'll play that again yeah, very clear. So that three times optical zoom has made a real difference there. Okay, so now we're looking at the G5 Pro. I'm just going to stop that there. We'll put it on a full screen. And we'll try and zoom in on the number plate. There is nothing there to be seen on the number plate. So we'll continue to play that. See where it spots it. I've paused the film here. This is the point where you can see the number plate on the G5 Bullet. We are 100%, so if I pull that in a little bit more, I can read that number plate pretty well. I would say it was about the same as it was for the G5 Pro when I was all the way back there on the street. So this bullet is really struggling a little bit more to see those number plates at any kind of distance. We are probably less than 5 meters from the camera here, so it's pretty close. Okay, so now we've got the AI Pro. I've just paused the uh, video here. We can see my cat here sat in front. I can just about read that number plate. Like I know what it says. So the last three letters are quite clear to me. The front four are a little bit more difficult. We are at 100% here. Oh no, 110. So if I maybe zoom in a little bit more. I could, yeah, I can pretty much read that number plate now. If I didn't know what it says, I might struggle a little bit with the first two letters. But the rest of it is pretty clear to me. And I think if I put this back to 100%, I will be able to read this pretty soon. So let's bring it in. Yeah, I can definitely read that now. Even without any zoom, I can read what that says. And I've got the option of zooming in as well. I can definitely see that number plate. That is very clear. I think this line is about 20 meters. I think we're about 20 meters uh, from the house here. And the number plate is incredibly clear. Despite the fact the car headlights are on, um, we're still able to see that. We can see the two cats here as well. And I, actually, I can read this number plate at the back here as well. So we've got really clear imagery. So if you're worried about people coming into your house and you want to be able to read the number plate, then the AI Pro looks like it is the camera for you. Very clear. Everything is very clear here. Okay, so we're exactly the same distance for the G5 Pro as we for the uh, AI Pro. Cars here, but... Um, I can't read that number plate it's all it's completely blurry to me actually I can sort of see some of the letters in this one but not very well but the number plate here is uh, completely blinded by the headlights even when I zoom in it doesn't help at all let's see if we can go 10 seconds forward so I can read it there and that's it that's the point where I can see the number plate now so also if I zoom in I can see that pretty clearly. So we're about at the same point, actually. I think this is uh, more or less the point where the AI Pro had it pretty clearly. Um, so we are about 20 meters from the house. And it gets clearer as we approach. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test out the audio notifications and see how they work. I've previously tried this on the G4 Flex, the Wi-Fi camera and I could not get them to work. So it'd be interesting to see if this does work for these cameras. So there are different audio notifications depending on which camera you do. So let's start on the G5 Bullet. That's the most basic one. So we go to recording mode and we go to our audio detections. So we've got three options here. We've got baby crying. I haven't got a baby to test that on, unfortunately. Uh, we've got carbon monoxide and we've got smoke alarm. So let's cancel that. They're all ticked. Uh, if we go to the AI, in fact, let's go to the G5 Pro first recording modes and again we've got the same ones baby crying uh, carbon monoxide alarm and a smoke alarm 
So we'd leave those two on. And the AI Pro has got quite a bit more. So if we go down to here, it's able to pick up an awful lot of stuff. So we've got baby crying, barking dog. Again, I haven't got a dog here to test that on, unfortunately. Car alarm. I uh, can't test that, but I will test a car horn. Um, we've got carbon dioxide, glass breakage, siren, smoke alarm, and speaking. So there's a lot on this one. But it's yet to be seen whether or not these actually work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, I've brought the cameras inside um, next to a smoke alarm. I'm going to turn that smoke alarm on and I want to see if these cameras pick up that smoke alarm. Um, it's also carbon monoxide, so it should be able to do them both. But it didn't work for the G4 Flex, so I'm interested to see if it's going to work for this one. So I'll do that now. Okay, so I've done the smoke alarm and I'm going to see if we go to detections what it's picked up. Okay, so we've got two here from the AI Pro and that is it by the looks of it. So we go to audio actually. Um, so today at 10.55, 10.59, let's press this one here and see what it got. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Okay, so I'm in my detections. I can see straight away there's two audio detections from the AI Pro. So we've got one at 10:55, which I think might have been me talking, and then we've got one. <coughs> okay, so I've gone to my detections, and I can see straight away the AI Pro has picked up two audio detections. Now I don't know exactly what these are. I th this one was slightly earlier. The cameras are just behind me. They're a few meters behind me, so this might just be me talking on this video. This one here, I think, is the smoke alarm. So let's check this out. I haven't got an image on this because it's just facing a wall. Okay, so I've done the smoke alarm and now if we go to my detections, I've got some detections here actually. So I think this is actually just me talking. The cameras are a few meters behind me, so that's probably just me talking on the video and I think that's the same here. This is when I tested the smoke alarm, so I'll be interested to see what happens here. So let's click on this one. Uh, we've unmuted the sound, so we should be able to hear it. I think you can actually hear, yeah, you can hear the noise of me recording on my phone to show you where the cameras are. Okay, so I turned on my smoke alarm, and now if I go to detections, you can see that there's four detections here from the AI Pro, but I've actually already had a listen to these, and not a single one of these are the smoke alarm. So the reason why these have all come up is because the cameras are about three or four meters behind me. Okay, so I've done my smoke alarm test, and now I can go to detections. And if we look here, we've got lots and lots of detections for audio. But interestingly, they're all on the AI Pro and none of these are for smoke alarm. These are actually all just me talking. And the reason it's got me talking is because the camera's not very far behind me and I'm recording this video, so it's picked all of those up. So I've listened to these and it's literally just me talking. So the smoke alarm has not come up. Now I had exactly the same thing with the G4 Flex. I'm not sure why it doesn't pick up the smoke alarms. I don't know if smoke alarms sound different in the US and that's why it's not uh, spotting them. 
but none of them have heard that smoke alarm. So for me, that feature isn't particularly useful. Now, because we've got that car horn on the um, AI Pro as well, I'm going to put the camera back outside and we'll honk the horn and see if it picks that up. Okay, so I've gone outside and I've honked the horn on the van and you can see in the event timeline here, we've got a honking of a horn. So if I click on this one and I'll take it to six seconds, which is where it happens. And it's picked out that sound of the honking horn. I'm not sure how useful that is, but it has worked unlike the smoke alarm, the uh, CO2 alarm. So that's good to see. So we know that the AI Pro is able to pick out conversations. It's able to pick out a honking of a horn, but the smoke alarm bit doesn't work. I'm really interested if you're in the US and you're able to tell me what a smoke alarm or CO2, uh, sorry, a carbon monoxide alarm sounds like in your country, then please let me know because I don't know why these cameras just can't identify that. I'm also a little bit surprised that even if it didn't pick up a smoke alarm, it might pick it up as a siren, but it hasn't done that. Okay, so I've got an Ajax alarm here, and one of the things you can do on Ajax alarm is you can do a volume test on the external siren or the internal siren, um, and you can uh, get it to set off for a couple of seconds, which I've done. Unfortunately, I've got lots of new events, particularly from the G5 Pro and the AI Pro. It's spotted someone right at the end of the road there, which is uh, pretty impressive. But I've got no audio event for a siren. Now, the camera was about five meters away from that siren, and it's really loud. I could hear it from where I am here, and that's quite a lot uh, further away, but it's just not picked it up. So smoke alarms, carbon monoxide alarm, sirens, it's not picking up. It did get the car home. It's got lots of conversations, and it's having no problems with these distant uh, people that it's picking up, but it's not getting the... Um, the the siren noises which is a little bit disappointing really not a single one of those cameras has got it the g5 pro and the uh, g5 bullet don't actually advertise they do that but the ai pro should be picking that up okay so hopefully you've got a really good understanding of what the difference is between these cameras um it's not being completely fair First of all, the G5 Bullet is significantly cheaper than the other two and we've kind of made it look not so good, but it is still a very good camera. Um, certainly, I prefer unified cameras to a lot of other camera systems and that's mainly because of the interface. The user interface is very good on a desktop and on the app. Um, and obviously, it's got those sort of AI detections, which is great. Um, I would say also that I kind of cheated a little bit because I turned off all the security lights outside the front of my house. Normally, you would get a lot more light coming off the house, so the cameras would be able to cope with uh, the sort of nighttime imagery a lot better because they'd switch to day mode and you'd see really clear kind of facial uh, features, etc., etc. If money is no object and you're trying to decide between the AI Pro and the G5 Pro, I would always pick the AI Pro. I think it's just worth paying that extra bit of money. Obviously, we've seen that there's some slight differences in the image quality. The AI Pro seems to be slightly better, but also you get all those additional features, that number plate recognition, facial recognition, all the rest of it. I hope this video has been useful. Um, please do subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Thanks very much.